our seventh grade, page eight in the book. So remember, you are supposed to be writing. If you're taking notes on these podcasts, so I know that you you watch them. Here's our pin. Let me see if I can get something going with the pin in this time. Variable. If you have more vocabulary, you're writing this with me. A variable is usually a letter that stands for an unknown value. So usually, and this is about halfway through page eight, a little more than half. Uh, it represents one or more numbers, uh, an unknown value meaning an unknown number. A variable expression, and if we look at a, an example of one, here's n plus six, like they have in the book. It says it consists of numbers, variables, and operations. So there's my number, there's my variable, and there's my operation. And evaluate means you're gonna find the answer when I tell you what n is, or you're gonna solve it and then given the information to solve. So we'll take a look at the first example. So we go to example number one. So what do we need? The computer doesn't like me today. Okay, example number one, evaluate. There's that word from our vocabulary, evaluate. So evaluate means find the answer of this variable expression, x plus four, when x equals nine. So we will evaluate it by substituting in nine right there. So we have nine plus four, which is 13. So that one works out good. Turns out to be 13. Then we go see how they did it. I don't think I have the answers on here. So they substitute it and they added and they got 13. So we have the second one, y minus three, which in this case, there's our variable expression again, and there's y equals seven. So seven minus three, and in this case, that comes out to be four. So that is a little weird with the biology of what they do. That's good. Okay, so you guys practice for example one, which you're also writing with me. Seven plus n, now notice up here, it says, this is the instructions for the whole thing. Right here says to evaluate. Here's, there's the options. A is three and N is nine. So we use whatever letters we need to. So we have seven plus M. In this case, we look up there, M is worth nine. So we go seven plus nine, which is 16. So that one works out good for that. The answer is 16. Look how it's right on top of it. A plus 28, this time just making sure I get the right numbers with the right letters. A is three, so I put in three. So I get three plus 28, which is 31. Let's get that in. Looks good. So here again, there's our, our, val our variables up there, are the values of the variables. So 10 minus A, in this case, A is three. So it's gonna be 10 minus three, which is seven. So just some basic facts also. It's always nice to be good fast with those basic facts. So there's M. I look up and I see up here, I see the N, the M is nine. So I'm gonna go nine minus five, which is four. Okay, and example number two, evaluating variable expressions again, but this time you'll notice that these are going to be multiplication expressions or division expressions. So I wanna draw your attention to the top of page nine. You'll see there's a key concept box and they have uh, some information about multiplication right there. Sorry, my handwriting is kind of sloppy. You notice they have five N and they have it written this way. But another way of writing five N, five times N would be five times N, you use a dot. Oh, um, because you want to try to get away from using an X now that we have variables because an X means times so you want to try to To come up with different ways this means to multiply when there's nothing between the number and the letter Also, this means to multiply if you use parentheses and you could use parentheses on both numbers if you'd like But you really don't have to that would still mean to multiply Okay division another way of writing division Notice they have x divided by four, but you could also
possible x y y squared. So up here we look at what we're trying to evaluate. You'll notice the 4n. That means 4 times n. So when we put in the 4, or excuse me, the 6 for the n, I'm going to put a dot to remind myself I'm going to times. Sometimes people forget that, and they just put the 6 in, and they think the answer is 46. And that would be wrong. So 4 times 6 is 24. Let's see if we agree with that. Substitute it in. Kind of written all over it. Multiply, and the answer comes out to be 24. So evaluate z divided by 2 when z is 8. So I put 8 in for the 2. So I'm just going to go 8 divided by 2. How many times does 2 go into 8? 4 times. So those are pretty easy basic facts. Just knowing when to multiply and when to divide, that's the key right there. So that one's 4. So example number 3, evaluate an expression with two variables now. Hockey players earn points for goals and assists. The expression g plus a can be used to find the number of points earned by a player who has g goals and a assists. Find the number of points earned by a hockey player with 12 goals and 29 assists. So we put g goals or g, so we put that in for g, 12, and we put 29 in for assists. So 12 plus 29, and then round them up there, 31 points. We substituted. It's exactly what we did. And there you go. The 41 points. So the guided practice, number five. There's our valuable variables to put in. S equals five and t equals ten. So we go nine s, that's nine times s. So this can be interpreted a different way. Nine times five. S is the answers. 18t, t is 10, so I go 18 times 10. Remember 10, that's easy. You just add a zero on the end. Comes out to be 180. 100 divided by t. Well, t is 10, so that's going to come out to be what the heck? That's going to be 100 divided by 10. How many times does 10 go into 100? 10 times. Basic facts. 220 divided by s. s is 5. So 220 divided by 5. Well, I don't have my 5 memorized that high, so i got to do a little division problem. No big deal. 5 goes into 22 4 times, which is 20. Subtract, 5 goes into 20 again 4 times, which is the exact, so 44. Let's see if I divided that. Well, no big deal to do long division with just some steps involved. The answer is 44. Evaluate the expression when s is 5 and t is 10. Again, number 9, 32t. S, S is 5, we're still multiplying 14 times 5, I'm going to do it this way, so 0, 3, a 2, 5, that's going to be 7, 70. Keep doing these with me, remember, 55 divided by S, so that's 55 divided by Double numbers for 11s. 780 divided by t. t is 10. Shortcut, remember you take the zeros off. The answer is going to be 78. So just a lot of basic facts right there. Good arithmetic.
Number 13, what is, suppose a hockey player had 18 goals and 41 assists in example three, find the number of points the hockey player earned. Well, if you remember, it was number of goals plus the number of assists, so 18 plus 41. That player would have 59 points. And I think I got the answer there. Yep, 59. So that's it for 1.2. Um, you can uh, go on with your assignment, and we'll see you next time.